let's get started I also did this because I have two cameras right now. Hello my friends, it's Nina and welcome to another vlog. This one is a special one because I will be showing you a week in my life as a webtoon creator. Ah! This is basically my second life. So as you guys know, I make YouTube videos, but on the side, I also do have a webtoon that I've been working on for the last year. So I do two things at the same time. I have shown a lot of vlogs about my life as a content creator on YouTube. But for this video, I wanted to show a more in-depth video of the behind the scenes of my process of making a webtoon episode. This is perfect timing because I'm about to work on the next episode of the webtoon. So come along as I show you the entire process. I also do want to say a big thank you to Clip Studio Paint for sponsoring this video. They are the reason why my webtoon even exists and I'm so happy that I can work with them again. I create my entire webtoon from beginning to end on Clip Studio Paint so I'll show you my favorite features, tools, tips that I have, and just a more detailed look into my life and what goes on to make an episode. But if you didn't know, my webtoon is called To Love and Be Loved on Webtoon. It is a romance slash drama fictional webtoon but without further ado let's get started today's equipment on my ipad stand my ipad my drawing glove and my apple pencil that's all i need to work on my webtoon and of course clip studio paint water is secured let's get started i am going to finish up writing the episode on my notion and in the meantime i'm going to charge my ipad so i don't have to worry about that later it is currently 1 15 we're not that far behind. Well, hello there. Another angle change. But first, I'm going to open up my Notion. Hopefully nothing is private information. Oh, I have to log in. Here is my Webtoon Studio. Final episode 19. I'm going to open the page and I'm just going to edit this. Let's make all the panels pink so I can see it. Also, another thing I like to add, when I describe the panels, I'll use close-up shots, medium shots, whatever shot name there is, long shots. It also helps me have an idea of how close the characters will be, how far away they'll be, all that. I feel like I'm writing a screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> it's already 8 p.m. but that's because I've been doing a lot of things I recently bought a chair and it's just been sitting in a box this whole time so I finally thought I want to install it I want to build it and I want it in my room so that's what I did it took a bit of time but it's finally all made isn't it cute now we're going to get started and make an episode of my webtoon on Clip Studio Paint. I'm gonna scoot in a little bit. This chair is amazing. So first things first, here is the Clip Studio Paint workspace on an iPad. I have the mobile subscription. We've got the toolbar here, a window here, more tools here. You can see the colors here, color history, and then all your layers would go here. Then you've got all your brushes. I am going to start with file new and we're going to make a new episode of a webtoon so clip studio paint has a bunch of different options for projects you've got illustration comic this is the webtoon comic size other comic forms and then we've also got animation but i am just going to go with the comic episode 19 and then for the preset i have a custom one i go with a width of 1600 pixels a height of 15,360 pixels and a resolution of 350 this is pretty standard you can also record a time lapse if you want okay so we set up our file we're going to double tap we've got this little view here which i love you can see the entire page and then another great feature is that you can set up the window size so i have it set up in the aspect ratio for a phone so that i can see where the full screen will be for the reader and then there's also a new feature called companion mode as you can see on this top button right here if you have clip studio paint on your phone then you can scan the qr code on your ipad on whatever surface and then you can actually preview your webtoon i have my script up up on my desktop and I'm just going to go for it. We've got the sub tool frame border. This is how I make the panels. We're going to set up a panel right about the size so you can draw and it won't go outside of the box. I'm going to make a sketch folder. So I'm just going to kind of lay out where the characters would be. Something I realize when I draw is I kind of mimic the expression of the character sometimes. So if they have a shocked face, my face will kind of do the same thing. I'm trying to remember the hand position from my last episode. It's been a while, so I forgot what hand was which. Oh, see, it was the wrong hand. Ooh. 
It was the left hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to erase this hand. So we've got the nice eraser tool. I'm gonna use soft, it's less harsh. A little glow from the lamp. So it's just a rough idea of where everything's going to be. And then now I'm going to draw the second Jihan <laughs> because in my episode, there are two of her. She's kind of talking to herself, just Jihan things. So like sometimes we also talk to ourselves. And then I'm gonna make her kind of in the foreground, kind of looking at herself. And then maybe I'll add a nice big sweat drop <laughs> to indicate that she's nervous. And here is the final sketch. And then now I'm going to lay out where the text is going to be. And I use the balloon sub tool. I'm going to place the balloon below the panel so that readers can see the panel first and then read the text. She's speaking, so I'm going to add a balloon tail. Jian number two has a slanted italic font. So we have completed one panel and I am just going going to continue this. I think I'm going to need another day to keep going. I am just going to do a few more on camera and then just breeze through this as I can. But so far so good. Wow, you can barely see me. <laughs> it's 5.30 a.m. right now. My mom woke me up. We're gonna see the sunrise. And I'm not mad about it at all, actually. I wanna see this. I'm wearing a hat. Oh, there's the moon. Cute. That's the fit. My mom took my scarf, but we're walking and I feel good. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Holy. The mountains are so pretty. Oh, I feel the burn. This is nice. We made it. The sun is literally not here. Whoa. There's no one here. Oh, I'm tired. Good morning. The bird was a paid actor. Oh, my hair. <laughs> the sun has finally risen. I cannot look at the sky anymore. <laughs> it's so bright. Oh my goodness, there's a rabbit. I'm crying, that's so cute. Oh, bye bye. Oh my god, there's two. I see the ears. Oh, okay. oh my god, good morning. Yellow. It's on. You're so cute. <sighs> Another day. What's the phrase? Another nickel? Another quarter? Another dollar? It's another day. <laughs> I have completed the sketch, you guys. I finished yesterday. It took longer than expected because a lot is happening in these next few episodes. I will show you the completed storyboard. So I already started coloring and I did a page of line art already, but I have so many pages to go. So here are all the pages. That's a lot. <laughs> so I actually drew two episodes. It was supposed to be one episode, but it turned out to be longer than I thought. I'm very happy with it, but I do have to split them because it's not going to fit into one episode. So there we go. But today I'm going to work on the line art for as much of the episodes as possible. I'm not going to be able to finish everything because usually an episode takes me about two weeks to finish. But the process itself is pretty simple. I took a shower. I'm wearing these cute pajamas. Got my hydration, iPad, everything here. Okay, let's get it. Also, this is realistically what I look like 90% of the time. <laughs> I need to let my skin breathe. I'm going to tie my hair up. I'm getting down to business. <laughs> right now I'm going to do a page of line art and then I might do another page of line art for a more complex page. This page right here is a little simple, but I still want to show it because it is part of the next episode and I need to get that next episode up as soon as possible. But I also do want to show a couple pages in the second episode because they are a little more interesting, to be honest. <laughs> I am adding a border effect to the pen so it has this well, nice can't, outline. Just can't.
It is currently 12.40 a.m. <laughs> okay, I actually started filling pages with color just because I wanted to see how it looks. I was able to finish one page, two pages, three, I think that's it. <laughs> Tomorrow I am going to tackle the final few pages of the next episode. So I think I'm going to start around this area right here and I think that will be a good place to end. So I won't be finishing these episodes in this video, but by the time you watch this video, there are already up on webtoon so you can go ahead and read them you can see the entire process how everything turned out and i think that is always the satisfying part about webtoon making is that there's always a finished product at the end so it is 12 54 a.m i'm finally going to go to sleep this is the earliest i've slept in a while <laughs> sweet dreams bye bye so today's objective i want to finish at least two pages of the next episode ah. Okay, everything's charged now. Good to go. So we have this panel here. I actually already inserted a background. This is a 3D background. I just exported a 2D image of a 3D background. All I did was do file import from my photo library. They're just simple screenshots and I put it in as an image. And with that image, I drew in the characters through a sketch as you can see here. Oops, I forgot a little detail. Got a little ghosts there. There we go. I used the enclose and fill tool and area surrounded by black. So since I have black line art, it will color everything within the black line. Alright, so I have officially finished this panel. Okay, so I'm working on another panel. This time I'm going to show how I use Clip Studio Paint's 3D models for people. Right here I have a simple sketch of Chian. I did draw this on my own because I do have a basic understanding of anatomy, but sometimes I might be lazy with the sketch. I just want to show that there's a person there, but I don't take the time to go into detail. So if that is the case, I will use a 3D model. So we're going to go to Window and Material. I'm going to the 3D materials and I actually already have a bunch of custom 3D poses These are the default ones that come with Clip Studio Paint. You can adjust the height, the ratios, things like that So Jian herself is 170 centimeters tall and then Chanyoung is like 184 centimeters Johan is I think 186. Let me pull out Jian. I'm just going to pull it and drag it onto here and there she is. And this is specifically Chiyun's proportion. Her height is 170. The head to body ratio is 7.7. .7, that's a good ratio. So if you want to save this, all you do is go here. And then you can register this as a material. So Chiyun is kind of tilted. I gave her a bit of an angle. We've got all these tools. So we can tilt her back a little bit. Move her around just like this. Wow. <laughs> it's always satisfying when the 3D model is pretty similar to your sketch. Kind of walking forward so I'm going to raise her leg a little forward and so if you wanted to use a 3d model here it is it's a great tool to have and you can just lower the opacity so you can see and this is just nice to have if you're not very confident with your sketch for instance here i was pretty comfortable but then i got lazy with the rest of the body and so i can see a better proportion for it and drawing this panel should be a little bit easier continuing on i'm going to work on the line art another tool i like to use around this point is the symmetry tool but sometimes i like the look of a face that's not symmetrical because if it looks too symmetrical, sometimes it just doesn't look as realistic. Another thing I like to have is this navigator window where I can flip the screen to make sure it's symmetrical or not. So my sketch is not very symmetrical. <laughs> That's better. Don't forget to flip your screen. I think I'm going to use a symmetrical tool for the face detail right about here and to test if it's symmetrical. Wow, that is pretty good. Whoa, the face was almost symmetrical actually.
we've got pen, pencil, brush, and this is where I keep all my special brushes. For example, I have this cloud brush that I got from Clip Studio Paint Assets. I just downloaded it. I can add clouds. And these trees came from the vegetation section of the sub tool for decoration. I just made it a brush size of one with a particle size of 2000. So we've got giant trees. I went with this light pink color. And here are some buildings. I'm going to put some buildings behind Jian and drag it into the work. There it is! <laughs> I'm gonna kind of tuck this somewhere, maybe like right. Oh yes, perfect. And I'm going to make this building a little gray in color. So I'm going to take gray and multiply and color it. There we go. And the way that you can get these is by going on search for materials on assets. It's usually in the window for material and it'll take you to the internet. I'm already signed in, but you have all of these assets here. You can look for specific ones. I like to look for backgrounds especially let's do a building so we've got all these buildings like look at this one doesn't that look good so you can download this you just press download and it goes to your app but i don't need this right now and of course you can also look for brushes such as let's do like a nature brush like a flower brush so these are all brushes jewelry or shoelaces i love looking for shoelaces here so instead of drawing out shoelaces you can download it, it just makes things easier but for now i have everything i need here so i'm just going to continue I love how you can create a background with just a bunch of assets and because Clip Studio Paint assets is connected to Clip Studio Paint it's just easier to bring everything together you don't have to go through different files, different devices, things like that I am going to continue rendering and just see how far I can go it's only 6.30 I want to work on this till midnight I don't think I'm going to film everything but I pretty much showed you everything I think for now of course more tips and stuff are going to come in the future but this is basically how I use Clip Studio Paint very simple, very efficient, very comfortable I am a big fan. And here is the final panel. Yay! Very happy with it. But that is pretty much it for a week of working on my webtoon. After I finish all the panels, the episode eventually goes up for you guys to read on webtoon canvas. If you want to read the completed episodes, they are available to read now. I'll have my webtoon link down below and you can see the final product for yourself. Thank you once again to Clip Studio Paint for partnering with me on this video and for bringing my webtoon to life. And thank you for watching this vlog. But I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.